First you need to download and install FFmpeg in your system. You can download it from its official site. Link will be provided in the description. Here is the image file that we are going to add as a thumbnail. And this is our video, you can see its thumbnail has been automatically assigned by the system. But we want to change it. Also we have Bootstrap Darkly, which we are going to use for layout and design. We will be creating a form with two fields. To select image and video. So go ahead and open the index.php file. First we have to include the bootstrap file as CSS. Then we have to create a container dev, which will enclose all other tags. Give some margin from top, so it will align almost in the center of screen. Call MD will set the width of dev. An offset will give some margin from left. Forms method should be post. And since we are attaching files, we need to set an attribute, encoding type. And its value must be multipart, form data. And we will be sending this form data to another file at thumbnail.php. All input fields will be enclosed in a dev with class, form group. Type should be file. Name will be video. An accept attribute tells which files are allowed to be selected. We are setting this field to have only video files. Required attribute will make the form necessary to have this field. Giving class form control will set the width of input field to 100%. Just copy paste this field to create image input type. Replace the text video with image. And finally a submit button. So the form has been created. Now we need to create this file. We are copy pasting this index file, and will rename the new file to, add thumbnail.php. Open the file. Remove all code. In PHP, first we have to save incoming video and image in separate variables. We will be receiving both files in PHP built-in files array. Give the index video. And temp name will give the temporary path a video. Same goes for image. Now the command to add thumbnail to a video has a number of parameters. First is the relative path of FFmpeg. If you have added it in your path variable, then do not need to write complete path. You can enter just FFmpeg. Then we need to tell two input streams. Both will be preceded by minus i. First will be video and second will be image, both are being received in variables. Then we need to tell the first input for mapping, which is video. And second input for mapping too, which is image. Index starts from 0, so 0 means first and 1 means second. Then we will copy the stream so that original files may not get affected. And since we do not want any change in video, so the output file will use the same codec as input. Minus C means codec. Our image is of PNG type, so we will write PNG here. And disposition is the attribute of output video. So we will keep the output video same as input. 
and we will be using attached pick as disposition value. There are many values, but for adding thumbnail, we only need this. And then the name of output file. System is a built-in PHP function that will execute that command. And echo some string just to check everything works fine. This is our video whose thumbnail needs to be changed. And this is the image which will be used as a new thumbnail. So you can see the output video has a new thumbnail image. That's all for now. If you need any help, feel free to ask in the comments section below.